Hi, my name is Kalea Adolfo, and I'm the current center for the University of Hawaii Rainbow Wahine basketball team and former middle blocker of the Rainbow Wahine volleyball team. And this is Homegrown. Cause I'm homegrown from these islands. Yes, I'm homegrown from these islands. Hi, I'm Olivia McGill, and today I have with me Kalea Adolfo. So how do you feel about being the first Division I athlete, a female, to come from Molokai and play two sports, volleyball and basketball, at University of Hawaii? It's definitely an honor. Um, it's an opportunity for me to be an example and hopefully show other mm -hmm. females and athletes in general from Molokai and just students um, that it's something that they can do if that's something they want. So how did you get into playing you know, both sports? Were you playing other sports too and that kind of you were interested in others or how did that work? Yeah, so I grew up playing a lot of sports and um, in high school I went to a really small high school where a mm -hmm. lot of athletes had to play multiple sports uh, to be able to fill up the teams. And um, yeah, that's where it started. I ended up being decent in volleyball and basketball, so I stuck with it. How did the recruitment process for you work? Because I know playing volleyball for a club from a mainland team, you go to like California, you're seen by a bunch of coaches, so that's how that works. How did it work for you? I mean, I had no idea how the whole thing worked. Mm -hmm. uh, coming from Molokai, my freshman year, I went to the state tournament here, and that's where Dave first saw me. Um, for both volleyball and basketball, and then I played for like some teams, uh, some all-star teams for basketball. Mm -hmm. um, but it was just really eye-opening. I mean, I had no idea about club. I yeah. had no idea about um, traveling and how big the tournaments were. I mean, recruiting and um, scholarships and basketball, blah, blah, blah. Like, all of it was so new to me and my family. Mm -hmm. And um, definitely a learning process. And one of the things that I could help with when I went, I mean, uh, trying to help at home in Molokai is just mm -hmm. kind of like uh, bringing awareness to those types of things. Yeah. Um, so I was saying I came and I played in a tournament and Dave was interested in me and so he got in contact with my high school coach um, who then we started working on different ways where I could get down here um, to practice and play mm. um, to kind of up my level in hopes of being able to play somewhere. Yeah. Um, so just through that whole process I mean all through high school it was just a huge learning experience I mean Mm -hmm. I went to some mainland tournaments, the volleyball tournaments, mm -hmm. and those were just crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean, there were more people in the yes. convention centers than there were on my entire island, and it was just so much volleyball and such a big, such a big thing. I, I it was just uh, amazing to me. Mm -hmm. So, when you're going to college, did you want to do one sport? Or, I mean, when you're in high school, were you just thinking about doing one sport, or did you know that you wanted to do both? I think I knew I wanted to do both. Um, all through high school, it was, I was just learning new things, learning mm -hmm. new things. It never really occurred to me that it was a normal for people to just pick one and that was what they did. I mean, because growing up, I just did everything, you know, if the, um, there was a team for this, I went and played that. Or if they needed some a player for here, then I would go and do that. Um, so it just, it's a different mentality. I think it's a different yeah. like thought process um, growing up on Long Island. Well, Kalei is just a, a quiet person, but she led by example. Uh, she was just a solid person, solid citizen, you know, in every respect of uh, college life. Uh, you could look up to her, and that's what she did for us. Uh, there was never any question about where uh, her dedication was, and, and so she led by example, and that's so what we needed out of her. So why did you decide to play two sports at UH? Well, there's several reasons why I picked UH. I mean, one of the biggest reasons is I get to stay home and uh, my family gets to watch and be here for a lot of games. Mm -hmm. I mean, OC Sports, um, they get to watch every game several times if they want to. <laughs> and um, me from Molokai, it's just a flight away. They get to come down and watch games here. Um, I also get to represent the state and where I'm from. And I, they allowed me to play two sports. I mean, they're one of the schools that agreed for me to um, be able to do both. So coming from a small island, um, being the first to experience the things she's experienced and not have a role model to say, oh, let me model myself after this person. Kalei's it. Kalei is the one that the little girls over on that island are looking at. Molokai saying, 
I want to be like her and let me role model. Let me let me model myself after my mentor, my role model. I don't think Kalei understands the impact she's had on little girls and little boys within the state of Hawaii. Um, for them to say, I want to be like her and do it the right way. I don't know if she understands the, um, the breadth of what she's done. Probably a good thing she doesn't. But I think she'll be able to look back in, in three, five, seven years and say, I'm really proud of what I did and really proud of the way I did it and who I'm becoming. And that's something that she has left her, her footprints on both the volleyball team here and the basketball team here um, and in a bigger picture throughout the state of Hawaii. I've always kind of admired the fact that, yeah, local girls like being here, playing and, you know, in front of your family, that's a really cool thing. And just having like such a community who's followed you your whole life really be a part of your career in college, that's really awesome. Definitely being from Molokai, um, I saw that support playing here. I mean, the whole island would get excited, you know, when I'd go home and then mm -hmm. they'd be talking to me about the games and stuff. And it's just such a great feeling to know that I can have that connection with them and um, yeah. be able to re represent them in that kind of way. So you didn't have to come back and do another year of basketball. So what were you, what was the motivation for you to come back and do another year? Well, there's a couple of reasons why. I mean, I came here to play basketball. That was when my scholarship was in. Mm -hmm. um, and volleyball, both of them. And so I kind of wanted to finish that out. I didn't want to do, um, I want to finish what I started. That was one reason. Yeah. Another reason was a, it was a great opportunity for me to um, get my master's mm -hmm. um, and further my education even more while playing sports. And uh, my last reason is just because it's fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy being around with the girls and um, competing and representing the state. And it's just uh, college athletics is really fun. Um, so I know family is a big part of your life. How have they helped you through your um, your success on and off the court? They've been my constant support. I mean, mm -hmm. since I was born, you know, and um, just knowing that they're always there, regardless of wins and losses, or starting or mm -hmm. not, or winning or losing, or uh, basketball or volleyball. You know, my my family has always been there and has been that constant. Um, strength that I needed. Um, so are you excited for senior night basketball style? Because I know for volleyball it was like an entire island. Came and it was so many people and it was awesome seeing all them. They're really nice people. So are you excited to have another one? Senior nights are always fun. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll be quite what it was for volleyball. Because of uh, just what volleyball means to the state. Yeah. Uh, but I'm definitely excited. You know, I'm excited to spend that night with my family mm -hmm. and with my fellow seniors and with my team. Yeah. And it's just a great time of year. Um, a lot of different emotions, but mm -hmm. definitely excited yeah. about them. You know, because you've been such a role model for people playing sports, are you planning on doing anything after college that can give back to the community, like especially in Molokai? Um, definitely, definitely something that I want to do is give back, and especially with um, people from where I'm from, or mm -hmm. from areas similar to where I come from, and um, how exactly, I'm not too sure, but definitely something I want to do. Yeah. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with your life because you're a really awesome person. I can't say enough good things, so I'm really looking forward to what you're going to do with that. Thanks.